Hello and welcome to the best slash worst YouTube channel on YouTube. I have not been on my grind lately. I went a couple days without making uh, making videos, but we're back with some entertainment. We're talking wrestling. We're talking this and that. Fucking video games. We're covering the whole spectrum. I am I'm practically on the spectrum when it comes to entertainment. Uh, today we're talking about Nick Swartzen, a uh, comedian. Escorted off stage after having like what appears to be some kind of like drug induced or alcohol induced meltdown. Uh, so first off, you know I I don't want to completely shit on Nick Swartzen or blame him or anything. Who the fuck knows what's going on with Nick Swartzen? Um, I'm not the biggest Nick Swartzen fan, but I don't I I don't hate the guy. Uh, he's done. He, he did an appearance on Kill Tony, uh, Kill Tony being a podcast where uh, they basically pull people up from the crowd and let them tell jokes. Uh, his appearance on uh, Kill Tony was funny. Uh, Nick Swartzen's kind of a hit and miss kind of guy when it comes to comedy. Uh, he was on Reno 911 playing like a gay rollerblader or some shit. Uh, that was funny. That was funny. Um, he's also known for being in many really dog shit Adam Sandler movies. Uh, also starring in one of the worst movies that I've ever seen. Uh, let's see if we can pull, pull up a fucking uh, image of this fucking movie. Uh, Bucky Larson. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen Bucky Larson. Not many people did. This movie right here is like one of the worst fucking movies I ever saw in my entire life. So, you know, I'm not the biggest Nick Swartzen fan. I don't hate him. Uh, I think he I think he could be funny. But nevertheless, it's not about what I think. It's about, this video is about uh, him being escorted off stage at a comedy show. After drunkenly, drunkenly, belligerent, basically he sounds like me. He was a professional comedian. He was stuttering his fucking words, sounding like a complete imbecile. Um. No, no, uh, no fucking, uh, no offense. But in this video, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the incident. We're going to show video from it. Uh, fuck. I really hope fucking, uh, I hope this isn't owned by TMZ. I don't like TMZ. TMZ are fucking douchebags. Uh, but it seems like they have, uh, a video of it and I have one as well. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. First, we're going to read this, uh, we're going to read this, this, uh, Fucking, I'm having a meltdown just like Nick Swartz and Jesus, fuck. Uh, we're going to read this article by TMZ. We're going to read it. Oh, uh, seems like they've added some updates as well. Uh, shit, how the fuck do I read this? Do I just read the fucking updates first? All right, we're just going to start from the top. Uh, there's a couple updates. Nick just addressed Sunday night's debacle writing, just casually woke up on TMZ, travel tip, don't drink and tick. Tick. Don't drink and take edibles in high altitude. Fucking brain diarrhea. I'll make it up to you in Beaver Creek. Okay, so... So he, like, got drunk and took edibles uh, when he was on the plane and it fucked him up or something. I don't know. It's, uh, fucking... Uh, well, here's another update. I think this was a previous one. TMZ has gotten a hold of the email sent to ticket holders for Nick Swartz and show Sunday... An apology from Villar Performing Arts Center continued in writing. The message from them read, We apologize for the negative experience you may have had at this evening's performance. Unfortunately, this show did not meet the Villar Performing Arts Center standards as a world-class presenter of the performing arts. They continued, Therefore, all tickets will be refunded to the original payment method. Please accept our apologies and be in touch if there's anything we can do to further assist you. Eyewitnesses tell us Nick got yanked from the stage just 20, 20 minutes into his set. What the fuck? I was under the impression this was something that happened at like two minutes into his set. And he fucking, and they like canceled his set. This motherfucker was drunk and belligerent for 20 minutes into his set. Nick Swartzen got the hook. What was I say? Nick Swartzen got the hook at his own stand-up comedy show this weekend. After he started getting into it with the crowd, 
who are not amused and who made it known too. The comedian known for his work on Reno 911, like I said, and his frequent appearances at Sandler flicks. Yeah, it's basically what Nick's known for is Reno. We know 911 and Adam Sandler. Um, he was filmed Sunday shouting at and arguing with the audience in Beaver Creek, where he was hired as the headliner of the Villar Performing Arts Center. And there's a picture of Nick with uh, Norm MacDonald. I don't know why they decided to drag poor Norm into this situation. But there he is, the late, great Norm MacDonald. Nick appeared determined to continue on with the show. <laughs> Fuck. Despite things obviously going not so great, as he shouted at the crowd, let's go, over and over again. During his set, brief as it was, he also mentioned late comedian Norm MacDonald, who he had said he was missing in a poignant, poignant, fuck, I'm so fucking stupid, Point, poignant Instagram tribute back in February. Sounds like those feelings poured out here on stage because Nick was reminiscing on his friend, as he should. Uh, Norm MacDonald's probably one of the biggest losses in comedy. Like, this... Norm was, like... He was fucking everything. Like, that was the most tragic fucking day. Probably the most tragic celebrity death of... Like, honestly, probably the most tragic celebrity death of my life. When I looked down and saw Norm MacDonald had died. It was fucking terrible. While some attendees expressed their discomfort over Swartzen's unruly display, others cheered on the comedian. But Swartzen was eventually guided off stage after his mic was cut and the spotlight turned off, giving a little wave and a shaka sign as he sauntered away. Shortly after Swartzen's exit, the director of operations made his way on stage and informed the agitated crowd that the show had officially ended early. He apologized and, yeah, that's the end of it. Clear what exactly was going on. So, um, we're going to take a look at the video real quick. Um, seemed like he says that, uh, he was fucking high on edibles. Don't drink and take edibles. He was like high and drunk during this. Uh, hopefully it's not like a ser uh, comp Hopefully the situation isn't too serious, you know. Uh, we've lost so We've lost so many people to in in the com in the comedy scene to, you know, alcohol and substance abuse, you know, even people like Chris Farley would succumb to the vices. It's very fucking unfortunate. Uh, we're going to take a look at this video real quick and I'm going to say a couple more things and we'll get on out of here. Let's go! Yeah. Refund! <laughs> Refund! Let's go! Who here knows who Norm MacDonald is? Let's go! I mean, they turned the lights Yeah. <laughs> and turned off the spotlight. Dude, they turned off his mic. This is wild. Now they turned off his mic. I'm so confused. Why are you laughing? It was so dark. I was like, it took me like, turn his mic off. I'm glad his mic. Look, look. Your daughter's name? Yeah, sir. Daughter's name? Daughter's name? Daughter's name? Daughter's name? Daughter's name? So as you can see, they basically pulled Nick off the stage and the rest of the video, this guy tells everyone that they're cutting the show early and uh, cutting their losses and they're going to go home. Uh, seemed to me like fucking Nick was on some fucking Jägermeister because Jägermeister gives you that confidence to just start fucking getting hyped up and you're like, let's fucking go, let's fucking do comedy. And then uh, he had like a, he had a baby, he's like, oh, I'm fucking... Uh, who knows Norm? It's like, yeah, everyone knows Norm. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Seems like there's some Nick. Seems like Nick might be battling some fucking demons, you know. Uh, hopefully it's not too serious, though. Uh, hopefully, fucking, it is what it is, and he was just high and drunk on fucking edibles. Um, but yeah, that that's the that's the comedy the comedy news of the day. It's fucking Nick Swartz and escorted. Off stage at a comedy show. Uh, so leave your comments. Are you a fan of Nick Swartzen? Do you like um, his appearance in Adam Sandler movies? Uh, he seems like a cool enough guy, you know, all things considered, whether you like his comedy or not. So leave a comment telling me uh, 
how do you feel about this situation? Do you think um, think it's no big deal? You know, everybody has one of those days. Or you think Nick might be going down a path of destruction? Like God, I hope not. Uh, so thank you for watching the video, and we're out of here.